Hi there, I'm Matt Wade here, and today we're gonna to talk about a neat little trick in Outlook where you can take an email and automatically make either uh, an appointment or a meeting or a task in Microsoft To Do. This is a quick one, so let's dive right in. All right, so today we're going to apply a little bit of Outlook magic by taking an email that you receive from somebody and automatically creating either uh, an appointment or a meeting, meaning just for me or in, uh, with invitees, or create a task in Microsoft To Do. Uh, this one is really, really good in Outlook for the web, which is the browser version of Outlook. Frankly, Outlook for the web is uh, better than the desktop app, in my opinion, and I almost never say that about the Office apps uh, in Office 365, so you know, good on the Outlook team for that one. But let's dive right in, because this is a really cool one, and it can really help you manage your work and your tasks a lot better without having to jump around between tasks all the time. We have a, an email that we received that's asking us to do something. So first, we're going to be nice and actually send a confirmation back to that person. Let's use one of those Outlook prepared or suggested responses. But if we click the task calendar pane up in the top right, you're going to see we have a, uh, the ability to drag and drop the email. And I can either make it a task or an event. So let's make it an event first. And I'm actually going to make it an appointment for just me. But you'll see that it actually takes the subject of the email and the sender and includes that person as an invitee. But I'm going to remove that and I'm going to change the uh, topic or the uh, uh, the event name here and not use what was sent because I want it to be more specific to me. And I'm gonna just schedule some focus time for myself so that I can work on this before the due date. And I'll save that. And now as I look into my calendar view, you'll see I have tasks and I also have that up appointment now where I'm basically busy and nobody can book me. Now if I jump back over to the to-do side of this, I can drag and drop the email again and make a task. So this now adds this to the, uh, the unorganized task area of to-do and I'm going to favorite that so I can find it in among my tasks and I'm going to just open up to-do by going through the app launcher and you'll see under tasks it's now listed here. And just like the appointment we made earlier, it actually takes the email subject and makes it the name of the task. You can see I can choose to give it a due date. I can have it remind me, which generally I have the reminders be a couple of days before the due date. So I'm reminded to actually do it between that and the due date. So let's pick a time and day for that reminder. And you'll see the, uh, you can actually open the email itself right from to do, which is amazing. It's not even in the notes section. It's its own little area there. Now from here, uh, I can actually categorize it and drop it into, let's say, a work list. So now you can see that I have that uh, task is in my work list and I'm going to open that up again and now I can actually add some steps. So let's say I want to uh, you know, work on that draft, then I want to send it out for review, uh, and then eventually I want to send it out for uh, signature. So now I've got both my appointment and my task and I'm really good to go. Okay, and that's it. I think that's a pretty cool one, very easy to apply, like right now, a nice little nugget to make your workday that much better. Uh, in fact, this question came up in a comment in a previous video, so I'm kind of curious, if you have uh, questions or requests for other topics to discuss in some of the videos that I put out, uh, feel free to point out uh, and, uh, and ask for those in the comments, and I'll see if I can add them to my list of upcoming videos. Otherwise, if you have any comments or thoughts or better ways to do this, by all means, comment those uh, in the comment section as well, because it always brings up better ideas and other ways to do things and other, just other ways to think about how to do these things because the way that I do it is not going to be the same way as the way that you do it or somebody else on the internet does it. So anyway, thanks very much and enjoy keeping yourself a little bit more sane using Outlook and its integration between emails, events, and tasks.